Then she detailed her views in long Twitter postings. All right, that's not the normal way that scientists try to make a case. She wrote opinion pieces on the subject with science journalist Matt Ridley. Uh, Matt Ridley is a global warming skeptic. And so global warming is similar. There's an overwhelming consensus among the experts that there's man-made global warming that is leading us to catastrophe. On the other hand, right, their funding, their status, their prestige, their access to pretty young women, their invites to give speeches and to appear in the media depends upon them being right, that we're headed for a global catastrophe and they have the cure, they can show us how not to go there. And so if you're a scientist with a contrary perspective on this global warming hypothesis, you're going to have an impossible time getting funding because scientific funding is overwhelmingly done by groups, by bureaucracies. And how do you become an expert in global warming? Other global warming experts anoint you as an expert in global warming. How, how do you become an expert in anything? Other experts note you as an expert, but an expert is, is someone who knows things that regular people don't know, can't know, unless they put in an equivalent amount of, uh, of study as the expert. So expertise poses a significant challenge to democracy. And virologists want you know, maximum freedom for themselves and status and prestige and funding. And they, they don't like you know, what uh, Alina Chan is talking about. All right. So she and Matt Ridley authored a book called Viral, The Search for the Origin of, of COVID-19. Now, global warming is something so complicated that no one person can be an expert in global warming. You can only know a tiny little bit of the overall global warming hypothesis, right? You can only develop, you know, a limited amount of expertise. And so it, it's based on all sorts of models that uh, from, from an outside perspective seem fairly questionable, but you can't get funding if you don't buy into the global warming hypothesis because funding primarily comes from governments and private business. And any private business that funded, you know, anti-global warming research would be castigated and you know, just dragged through the mud 